What the laboratory does is it helps us identify beyond a shadow of a doubt exactly what type of situation we have, whether it's a chemical or biological, and what that is. And what that allows us to do uh, is provide uh, prophylaxis for the doctors at the hospitals and for our own medical personnel to ensure that they are medically treated for the right type of uh, event. Yeah, it's already connected. Well, as a result of the end of the Cold War and the discovery and the adventures of our new enemy, small units, small groups of people trying to cause damage to local populations, now we're going away from the big army aspect of uh, thorough decon of you know, a massive amount of contaminated vehicles that are belong to the Army or belong to other services with under DOD and we're training with other our host nation counterparts, you know, with the German Seaburn Corps, training with other uh, Seaburn experts in consequence management and focusing on small targets, small scale events, whether it's chemical, biological, radiological attacks on a community or contamination of a water supply or food supply or anything that has to do with that versus a big nation launching you know an infinite amount of parts of ordinance on us that contain mustard gas you know or nerve agent or anything like that Uh, the uniform is something we came up with to uh, blend with our civilian counterparts. Uh, sometimes military presence is threatening, it might make them uh, have the appearance that we're there to take over, and that's not the case. So the uniform is very similar to, uh, it's a variation of common, common components of wearing polo shirts and uh, cargo type pants that are uh, non-military uh, in appearance as, as associated with the U.S. military. So we want to be able to uh, establish on a uniform level, a uh, common ground uh, with our peers.